hello friends welcome to another video and this time we are taking the area types the first video of area types i mean we had area types like area zero which is the backbone and uh, i show with you uh, area zero or uh, sorry any other area are uh, standard uh, we still have here uh, uh, area zero is the backbone area is called a backbone area that means like every uh, every physical every area must physically connect to area zero to propagate to for the, to to propagate their information to another area that means like area zero is responsible uh for pro for uh propagating the the routes that are from the area to another area so without the area zero the information cannot be uh but across so cannot be uh the routers cannot update to each other that is one thing the other area type that we have let me put it here let me put it here as a star uh star we is called stop so, so that's what we're gonna configure now stop mean is like for example if i go to r4 now and say show ib route ospf i have inter area network i have it so if i go to for example give me a second or oh, we're gonna configure now if you want if i go to r no if i go to r1 now and i configure uh interface loopback uh loopback one ip address if i give ip address 11.11.11.0 .11 .11 so two five five two uh, sorry eleven dot eleven dot eleven dot eleven and I give it to turn on all the all the bits on and I go to router OSPF one and I just use a redistribute connected subnet so if you want to redistribute the uh, into an OSPF you always if you are redistributing the connected subnets now let me give you something uh, let me finish with this point first if you want to use the redistribute connected redistribute redistribute to anything i think about from the uh, static you will use subnet keyword if you are using 12.4 or lower but in the 12 uh in 2015 uh, sorry in 15 ios codes then this uh, this keyword is automatically added. This keyword uh, prevents OSBF from being uh, redistributed only to the classful network. It will tell you if you are using if you are using an iOS 12.4, but in 15 code it's okay. It adds you automatically. But always uh, t t uh, take care of this guy. I mean, like a uh, watch out. And also now, if I say redistribute connected subnets, that means like I, on R1, I'm redistributing any connected routes. For example, that includes gigabyte zero slash zero, and also uh, this uh, IP address that one dot one dot one dot one and the one I just created. But hopefully, this IP address now I have not advertised into an osbf area i just redistribute it but if i say redistribute connected that means like i'm redistributing this one and this one as well but uh, in ospf it has uh really really it is a good protocol you know because the reason why redistributing network is they have a uh, external type code so external type code that means like they came from another uh, domain but this one came from connected but it's not advertising into uh, OSPF area but it is redistributing to OSPF but the OSPF always has a hierarchy that it prefers all routes let me go to R4 as well again uh, always uh, OSPF uh, if I say show IB route yeah we have it here uh, always all routes always prefers all routes over OA routes. So this one has does not have OA routes. Let me go to R2 so I can show you very well. Show IB route OSPF. 
now R2 has all routes. So all routes that means like uh, is within the area. The route is that is a member. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the route is that is a member of the same area. So R1 I advertise it as an area zero, and R2 is an area zero member. Is a member of area zero. So if I go to R1 now and I show you before I redistribute this command, if I show you do show run section uh, do show run yeah section section ospf you'll see on network one advertise it as an area zero so this router this uh, r2 since it's a member of area zero it is as an o so this o is always uh is always uh, uh is always trusted uh the best you know I mean, this one has a more trans, tr tr more tr trust than this one. OSBF believes is this route than the inter routing, the inter area routing. Inter area routing means this three the three the three. It was sent from area two, so R two doesn't have any clue this area two because it is behind R one. R one advertised to it, and they are completely two different area. So it's called inter area routes. So. This one is the most believed. This one is the second believed. And any external, the external, I mean, like uh, this one. Okay, let me come back. Uh, this O is a, a LSA type one that I show with you, and LSA type two. Anything, if you see O, that means they are uh, LSA type one and type two. Inter area routes, they are type three, the one I just show with you. So the redistributing network, they will take it E uh, as an E external. So this external is is a least trans, uh, trusted, so it's not trusted the external because it is trusted, but uh, uh, this one has a preference than the than the external routes, which is uh, external routes are distributed routes, and this one has a more tra most more trustability than this one. It makes sense. So now let me go to our and to R1 and redistribute this network connected so what I mean what I am saying all this this interface will not be will not be shown as a redistributed this network will not show will not be shown or will not show as a redistributed because OSBFC this one as an O and it sees this one as an O so uh, and also R4 see this one as an inter area these two as an inter area as, as r4 sees is uh, it sees as an inter area routes uh, so it will not prefer when when i mean it see inter area routes so it will not prefer the e routes in external routes i mean so that's why OSBF will not will not accept the e routes in, uh, for this so instead they will accept as E route. So this one is a more believ more be believability than the external routes. I think it makes sense in that one. The subnets. And then when I go to R4 now, it will have an E code. So it will come. I'll just give a sec. I think R4 hasn't, doesn't have it yet. R2 doesn't have it yet. Yeah, R2 now has this code as an E code. The one I was just talking about. And it has a fixed cost, which is twenty. That's E two has a fixed cost. E two E two uh, um, uh, twenty. There, if it is a E one, it just the cost add is up. So I will show you that one. Let me go here. And instead, I said redistribute connected subnet subnets. And if I want to change this behavior from E two, from E two because E two has a fixed cost of uh, of 20 but now if i if i change the code as a e1 and then and make here e1 it will it will add one and one that's two and one it will be three so let me let me go and change so the, the command to change is you, you execute your command redistribute connected subnet and then you say metric metric type and the metric type will give you external type one or I guess set external type two. So I will just do it one, just number one and enter. And if you go to R2 now, it will have a, 
as a, before it was E1, now it, before it was E2, now it is a E1. And the cost became 21. Yeah, the default, sorry, sorry, I said 3. The default is 20. It was a 20. So anything, the, anything, the default was 20. What, what is it? The default was 20. Sorry about that. The, the, the default was 20. So, so now, now the default was 20 from here all the way to here. And it added one here, one, one, one cost here. That made it 120. That made it, sorry, 21. That made it uh, 21. So now if you go to R2, that made it, sorry, it, the default was 20 in the router. So this added up. So this is how the cost cost one. So the, the router two, it shows us a 21. Uh, the router is uh, yeah, it showed us 21 and router 4 it will show 22 yeah the, you see the router the router uh, 4 it showed us 22 cost so to sum up I mean to, just to make understand that point if it's a E2 it has a default 20 but if it's a if you make it E1 it, that means like it will take the 20 as it is in here, I mean, it will not show in here anyway uh, on this router, but it will take us a 20 and then every link it will add the cost. So this one was a cost of one that was 21. So in R2, it showed with us 21 when it was um, when we made the E1 before it was the default was 20 right here cost. But this one is a uh, administrative distance for the OSBF, so it's always 110. And this one now, it has a uh, 21. And R4, it became 20, 22. So that's the external cost. That I was just explaining a little bit. Okay, now, when I, when I configure as a stop for this interface, so if I want a stop on this interface, what, what is the benefit will be? The benefit will be, it will, it will filter external type, type 1. And it will... The, uh, this area will be a stop. The stop means like I don't want to see uh, any external routes, but it will still have inter area routes. But it will filter on this one and instead, or it will uh, originate a default route. So let us configure and see it. OSPF1 uh, area uh, one stop. And now, because the adjacency will go down, so I have to configure on R2 because every router, and also one point, if you have, a, if the link has, like for example, this link right here, yeah, the, this, if the link, if the router has two links, you cannot, I mean, uh, this one is area border router, so you have to do it, but if you have, if this router, for example, has another link connected to this one, uh, and if you, if you configure a stub, the stub will do nothing. So always do not do it if you have a two two link. So two link is connected to a router. So if it is a single point, and that means like nothing is behind here, it's just uh, the, the, the anything the, the thing here is the, the anything behind here will be just a LAN. So don't configure if you have if it is a transit router. So for that means like if if he, if he has a multiple link. Do not consider to use a stub. Only stub is only uh, allotted or allocated if you have a single point of of, of reachability. So now let me go to, to this guy and say router as well because I have to configure R2 with BF1 uh, area 1 because the area was 1 and then every area 1 and then uh, the, the I just uh, gave a question mark so to show you guys and then I took it stop so now the agencies will come back up yep I just will come because otherwise the agencies will not come back up if we just configure this one and we don't configure this one the area the agencies will not come I mean wouldn't come come back up so if I go this one before it had uh, a route external route but now hopefully it will not have it because we made a stop. Sorry. So I be route OSPF. 
OSPF. So now there is no uh, external route, but instead there is no external route here. Yeah? Before we had it, before we had it, but now we don't have it with the cost of 22. But now we don't have it. Now we have one. Uh, now uh, it has been originated the you know a default route. So this default route will uh, default route will allow us to ping 11.11.11 .11 even though it's not in the routing table but we have a default route so we can ping we can ping and we can reach before we didn't try to ping but we could, we would reach because if you have a routing table we if, if the network is in the routing table you can ping but if you don't know the network and you have a default route for it you can as well ping so if you have your uh, your routing table, you can ping. If you don't have it, your routing table, uh, but you have a default route, you can ping. Think you can ping the route that is not your routing table. But now we have a we have a default, so that means like it will allow us to ping any network. That that so so the stop means stop stop any external type five. And see you on the next lecture.